Welcome back. This is video number two and now I'm going to do some sewing so you can hear how amazing this machine sounds. I have it set to 12 which is pretty much right smack in the middle. I've got the needle placed in the middle and uh, the width at zero. So this is going to be a straight stitch. Isn't it nice and quiet? And let's look at those stitches. They are perfect. Doesn't get better than that. Now I'm going to uh, just elongate it a bit so you can see a nice big stitch on this needle down and let's turn the fabric and of course it's going to go much faster whoops I'm not uh, sewing a very straight line there am I now these are nice big stitches about twice the size as before and the back is just as beautiful and that is set uh, the tension right at two. Now I'm going to go ahead and show the zigzag. Actually, I'm going to go in between these stitches, these rows, because I'm going to show some decorative stitches and I need some room on the fabric. So let's go ahead and I'm going to set this at the maximum. And so what you do is you kind of push this down at the same time and it'll it'll catch. And so here we go. Nice big zigzag stitch. And nice beautiful stitches front and back. It does not get better than that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shorten the stitch length considerably. Let's get it down to a satin stitch. But this machine is so nice and quiet and solid. You know, it's a Japanese made machine and I mean, they just do phenomenal precision work. I'm going to make it a little bit closer. I can't tell. Am I moving? I am. That was really close. I think that is set at just about zero. So it's, I need to back it off a little bit. And now what I want to do is um, I'm going to change this so that it's at two. So I want to show you something that this neat. That this machine will do that's really neat so I've got it set at two but I can move it up to four and back to two okay see that just by pushing on this lever so I did back it off a little I'm gonna back it off a little bit more just so that I don't get it too close together okay so that's at two a four, that's a two. That's a four, that's a two. I can do it quicker. So this is a way that I can make my own style of stitches. In addition to the decorative stitch cams. So look at that. Isn't that fun? Now depending if you have this the needle in the middle the left or the right is is where that's going to be because this is in the with the needle in the middle so all the stitches are exactly in the middle now if it was on the left you'd have a line if it was on the right same thing but it would be the opposite direction so i wanted to show you there's still that that's how neat having this little button is and then 
just to release it, all you do is push it and it snaps back. And so now it's, it's back to all sizes. Now I'm going to leave it in the middle because actually depending on where you put the, place the needle, it will make a difference in your decorative stitches. So I'm going to leave it in the middle and I am, I'm going to have to put the phone down because to put in a cam, I need two hands because you push this aside like this and what it does actually if you watch in here you'll see the finger moves back out of the way and so that you can seat the the cam the stitch cam so I'm going to pause this for a minute put in a cam and show you what it looks like okay I'm back you can see the cams in the in the um, door close the door and here we go Because remember I told you that to, to use the cams, you need to leave this at zero because it will make, that's what the automatic stitch means. It does it all automatically. All you set is the stitch length. And depending on the stitch length that you set, that's what the, your stitch is going to look like as far as length. So this, this is cam number one, and so it's, uh, this is the two-sided, um, oh, I can't think of the word, but, uh, oh, crescent. So if you have it on either right or left, it's a crescent. In the middle, it's, it's doing this um, in and out, uh, rounded, now I'm going to close up the stitch length a little bit and it will shorten that. I'm going to turn this around so you can see the see how much it shortened it by bringing in it made it more satiny looking it's kind of let me hit autofocus there we go For some reason it got out of autofocus and then these are the stitches that I did myself just by controlling it so you have virtually here, I'll change this the needle. Oh, I gotta get the needle out of the fabric. And I'm gonna change it to the left side, and you'll see what I mean. It will make it differently. So for each cam, you literally have three different styles of stitches. Okay, let's flip this around. See, now it's more of a crescent style. See the difference? That's the same cam. The only difference is where the needle position is. Well, I think that will give you a good idea of uh, that I'm getting to be nine minutes now on this video. So I guess I need to cut it off. It's so much fun to sew with these machines, these vintage machines. They do tremendous jobs at these decorative stitches, even though they're mechanical. It's not a computer. It's strictly done with a uh, mechanical cams is what they call. And so um, anyway, I know you'll enjoy it too. And I appreciate you watching this video. And you're going to love this machine. I promise you. You have a great day. Thank you again. Bye.